Today we'll have a look at the Lamy Scala. The Lamy Scala is a pen that's been around for a while, but this is a special finish for 2015, and that is the blue-black finish. Uh, the pen sent to me by Fung from, Funto, from Fonto Plumo. Thanks for that. Um, it comes in this uh, box, and the box was apparently designed to to minimize excess weight. So it's it's a very uh, elegant but simple packaging and indeed it, it does seem to minimize waste a little bit. You get this blue-black Lamy ink and for those of you who are not familiar with that I seem to have gotten the paper stuck but there is actually a roll of blotting paper here which you can uh, pull out like like scotch tape or something. And that's not supposed to be blotting paper you use on paper it's just when you ink up the pen uh, you can pull that out and you can clean your nib, dry it off a little bit. And here we have the actual pen. I'll cover the parts of the pen, I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Okay, let's start at the very top of the pen. As you can see here, it's uh, it's very reflective. Um, finial, apart from that, there's not, nothing really going on there. And you have the, the, the cap and the clip, uh, the cap, and then that goes over into the barrel and the barrel, I think it tapers down ever so slightly, but it's a pretty robust and solid pen. Um, it it's definitely has some weight to it. Now, of course, a nice feature is this chrome part that uh, just radically changes into the blue-black finish. I have to say I enjoy this finish, and I don't know how well you can see that, but it actually has some type of um, specks in it. It does really look nice. Okay, at the end of the barrel you get this uh, uh, well, end thing um, and the cap clips, it, it slips off. As to the clip, the clip has the word Lamy there and it is spring loaded which makes it very easy to operate. I like that. The section tapers down slightly, very simple, very simple and, and industrial design as, as many Lamy pens are, quite modern and then you have a little lip there. That lip I find quite sharp. This definitely has some, some sharpness to it. I'll come back to that in a second. The nib, you may know, it's a safari style nib. This is the steel nib, but you can also purchase this pen with a gold nib, which is pretty much the same shape nib, except it has a, a, a line of gold uh, in the center um, you may be familiar with those, as Lamy Studio has those, for example. Okay, unscrew the barrel. All of this is metal, so it definitely, as I said, has a nice weight to it. And then you have one of these Lamy converters, but of course, you can also use cartridges. Okay, what do I like about the pen? What do I not like about the pen? I like this particular finish. Even though this is a model of pen that I have to admit does not really do much for me, I find it very um, blocky. I understand it's a round pen, but it's a very massive tube, and that's pretty much all there's to it. Nevertheless, the finish is very pretty. It's hard to capture on camera, but it does have a little bit of depth to it very nicely lacquered, very reflective. Again, not sure how well the camera will pick that up, but I like that. I also like the balance between the dark blue-black and the chrome highlights. Uh, it, it really makes for a visually appealing pen because the two colors go well together. I also like the weight. It is a not ultra heavy pen, but it's definitely robust because of all the metal, making for a nice robust writing experience. The section uh, is chrome, and that can get slippery as you write, and that's what I what I notice about this too. There is no form, there are no scales or grips on it, whatever. There is just this section, and I can find I, I find that that does tend to rotate a little bit as you write, especially if you write for a longer time. I also don't really like this lip. I understand that lip there is to uh, make sure the cap clicks in place like that, but it is on the sharp side, and that, uh, I mean, you it's mainly sharp on the nib end, so you won't really feel that, but if you scrape across this, it, it's definitely sharp. My biggest issue, talking about sharpness, is this 
clip. The clip is at this end, but especially at the end of the the finial, extremely angular, uh, and it has corners that are really 90 degrees, very, very sharp. Not necessarily a big deal, but you can use this for hand-to-hand -hand combat, because what I just did, scraping it across my hand, that actually hurt a lot. So, this is a pen you have to be a little careful with, because I think it's actually possible to cut yourself on it. Okay, having said all of that, I think this is definitely an interesting pen. It's interesting because of the shape. Even though I don't find it personally appealing, I know this will appeal to people who like a tight industrial design, a modern look. Uh, that is very cool. I like that the clip is spring-loaded. It writes well. Of course, another benefit is that we know these nibs. This particular nib, it's a broad steel nib, is not the smoothest one I've ever used, but these nibs are not so expensive. Gold ones are, the steel ones are not. So you can very easily get extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and that around should set you back around $20, something like that. That means you can expand the range of this pen quite significantly for forms, extra fine or fine, for bolder writing and broad nib, and that's fine. You can fiddle around with that, and you can even put on calligraphy nibs. I like that, that modular system. So, that's it. Let's see this pen in action. Again, thank you, Funk, for sending me this pen. I hope this was useful, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go with the Lamy Scala. Now, I forgot some of the measurements, so uh, the pen weighs 44 grams, the cap 20 grams, the body 24 grams. Cap length is 140.9 millimeters or 5.54 inches. Uh, uncapped, it has a length of 130.7 millimeters or 5.14 inches and posted length is 170.2, that is 6.7 inches. Now the barrel has a diameter of 10.3 to 11.8 millimeters, that's 0.40 to 0.46 inches. The section diameter is 8.8 .8 to 10.2 millimeters, or 0.34 to 0.42 inches. Let's do some writing. Here we have the Lamy Scala, the nib is broad, and the ink is a Pelican Royal Blue. So Königsblau, aka Royal Blue. Uh, this, I should say, is not a... Uh, there was not a skip, that was just me not really exerting enough pressure on the pen. As I said, I do not find this the smoothest uh, broad I've used. The nib on my Safari, which is the same nib model, is much smoother. So, if this sounds feedbacky, it is a little bit. Um, so, maybe if you have a chance and you want this pen, check it out in a shop. Okay, some fast writing. A slightly dry ink, but even in fast writing, I think the, the nib and feet keep up well. Wetness. Not bad. Uh, line variation. Well, this is a humble steel nib, but you can squeeze out a bit of line variation if you really want to. Also, you can do fairly smooth reverse writing, turning your broad into a fine, or maybe even an extra fine, which is uh, quite cool. Okay, thanks a lot to Frank at fontoplumo.nl for sending me this pen to review, I appreciate it. Guys, I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.